everybody, so I know I normally don't upload today, but I wanted to quickly come on here and tell you guys about a few things. For one, I got a new camera and also about the giveaway that went up yesterday and some new stuff on my blog. So first of all, I got a new camera and I'm actually filming on it right now. I've been saving up for a while and I just could not wait anymore to get it. I wanted to upgrade from my Canon T4i. Sorry, Holly. So I went with the Canon 70D. I was having some trouble with my T4i because it did not autofocus. That was my biggest issue, which made it really hard to film, especially during tutorials or things where I'm holding up products because I couldn't autofocus it. The Canon T4i does have the ability to autofocus. I would have just had to have gotten a better lens. The T4i is a great camera and I definitely recommend it, but if you're going to get that one, I would recommend getting the better lens for it. Um, get the lens that's the 18-135 to STM lens, and that's actually the one that I have on this new Canon camera. And the new one is the 70D, and my old one was the T4i, but I just had the cheaper lens, like I said. And I couldn't use the autofocus because it was too loud, so I would have to lock the autofocus when I was filming, which I would have to actually be sitting close enough to reach it to touch it. So that got really annoying and really old. I just wanted to easily be able to film and it not take so long, you know, and worrying about me being out of focus. I hope I'm in focus now. When I look in the viewfinder, it doesn't look like it, but... Um, this camera autofocuses so smoothly and so silently. It's just insane. If you guys make videos, I highly recommend getting this one. It's just amazing so far. I've been taking pictures and I'm just amazed at the quality. So like I can actually hold stuff up and it focuses, which seems like so simple. But if you make videos, you totally get what I mean because you're constantly holding stuff up and you don't want to stop and refocus it. Um, I did actually order through Ebates, which if you guys don't know about Ebates, I've done a blog post on it before, but it's amazing because you get cash back on your purchases. I ordered from Overstock because Ebates had 5% off the other day. I don't know if they always have 5% for Overstock. Sometimes the percentage change. So basically you order through Ebates. So when you order something, it goes through there. So you're not actually giving Ebates any information or anything. Um, but the percentages change of how much cash back that you get. So they had 5%. So I ended up getting like $67 or something like that. Almost $70 worth of cash back for my camera. So that's amazing. That's a lot off. It's going to take a few weeks for the cash back to come, but it's still awesome. So I wanted to make sure I ordered from somewhere that had a high amount of cash back, especially when you're buying something really expensive. I've been using Ebates for a while now just for shopping online and stuff, and it really adds up. It's not like a scam or anything. It's totally fine. I have a whole blog post about it. I've been getting payments from them for a while now through PayPal. Um, they send you either a check or right through PayPal, which is the way I do it. So I'll leave the sign up link for Ebates if you're interested. If you're someone who shops online a lot, especially around the holiday season, I would definitely recommend doing that. Um, they also have coupons and other stuff you can use, so it's just really awesome. So I just wanted to share with you guys like how I was able to get so much off this camera. I am also going to be selling my old T4i. Actually, it's not even old. I didn't even have it very long. It's in excellent condition. If any of you guys make videos and you're interested in buying that one with the lens too, send me an email. My email will be listed down below and we can discuss like a price and stuff like that. Um, I'm not sure if I'm ready to sell it right this minute, but maybe within the next two weeks once I get used to this one and make sure that I like it um, and make sure I don't need like a backup or something. But I am definitely going to be selling it. Um, so if you're interested, please email me. Um, like I said, it is a great camera, but I would recommend updating the lens on it if you want to get the better lens to have the silent autofocus. Or if you're just, you know, wanting to get something affordable, then just keep the lens that I'll be selling with it. Just know that you have to um, take a little few extra steps, I guess, to get the autofocus to work right. So I'll explain all that to you in the email and stuff if you're interested. It's still great, but like I said, um, keep that in mind with the autofocus thing. So I also wanted to just let any of you know that missed it yesterday that I just had a giveaway go up. I'm giving away a Numi Magic Wand and then their White Truffle Hair Primer. And there's actually going to be two winners because it's a collab giveaway. And I did a Blake Lively inspired hair tutorial, which is actually the same hair that I'm still wearing. That Numi wand that I use is insane. Like, I've never had a wand actually last this long with my hair. So I'll link the set that I use down below if you're interested. But I've had this hair for, I think I filmed on like Sunday and now it's... Wednesday. Yeah, so it's lasted a really long time. I've only touched up like a few pieces right here, but I'm just amazed at how long the curls have lasted. It's such a high quality wand. Um, I'm also going to have up a blog post on this look that I'm wearing. I just did the look and I'm going to have some pictures and stuff um, using the new camera and I wanted to show you guys some of the kits that I got from Studio Gear. So this was the kit that I used for the blog post. This is from Studio Gear and it's a really nice like red lip kit. It has a primer and a lip liner and a lipstick and a lipstick case so that's really cool so I use this in the look I'm wearing right now and there's also two other kits so I'll be reviewing those 
um, throughout the week and probably in the next week too on my blog. So I think these are great holiday kits to give for gifts because they're small, they're affordable too, and you get some great products in there that are really great quality. So I'm also going to be having a giveaway on those. So I'm going to have a few giveaways going on at the same time along with the one on my channel right now. But on that blog post, I will be giving away one of these kits to one of you guys. So I just wanted to let you guys know um, that if you do want to win one of these to give it to someone for Christmas or even just for yourself because it's awesome, um, and it's a really great value too, I will have the giveaway on that blog post which is starting now. So a lot kind of going on. I just wanted to kind of update you guys. I don't think there's anything else that I wanted to tell you. Um, if you're interested in the camera, email me. Don't forget to check out the giveaways I have going on. Oh, I also... Um, announced the BarkBox giveaway winner in the giveaway that went up yesterday. I already contacted the winner. I'm still waiting to hear back from her. Um, I will also put that winner in the description box below this video. So if you are watching, make sure you just respond to me as soon as you can so we can get the giveaway prize to you. So check back on Saturday. I'm going to have a fall tutorial up using my new Lorac 2 palette. So that's going to be up on Saturday. So make sure you check back for that. So that is everything. Like I said, I post on Wednesday and Saturday. So I will talk to you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye everyone. So today I'm going to be doing a Blake Lively inspired hair tutorial. I always love Blake Lively's hair. It's just flawless. I know my hair is not blonde, but I wanted to recreate the same look that I saw on Pinterest. 